Hey guys, welcome back. The book that I've just been reading from Gary B. Crushing It. I've decided to go back to the first chapter to share some key points that I learned in the first chapter with you. Oh my god. It's currently about half past four in the morning. Before we reach the majestic shores of the promised land, there is a frustrating and bewildering wilderness ahead. We must still face prodigious hilltops of opposition and gigantic mountains of resistance. But with patient and firm determination, we will press on. It's so quiet outside at five o'clock in the morning. It's Sunday the 6th of May and it's um, now 5.16 in the morning and I'm walking towards downtown Victoria in British Columbia, Canada. One of the main reasons why I'm putting in a lot of effort right now is because um, I've had to, since arriving in Canada, I've had to transition back into a full-time job in the retail industry that I used to work in when I was in Scotland. So I'm now an assistant store manager for a retailer here in Victoria, Canada. And um, that's just ringing alarm bells for me. I'm going, I feel like I'm going backwards. I'm putting in a lot of effort now to get myself through this web development course. Um, there's 350 modules, so it'll probably take me a, f a couple few months maybe four or five or six months maybe uh, but the good thing is this job that I'm doing over six months will give me enough savings to survive in Asia oh and by the way today is Sunday so while everyone is suffering from a hangover I am putting in the work and I think purely because there's no set way to become a digital nomad there's hundreds of potential unique ways to make a living online and I think the hardest part is finding out what you want to do finding out how you want to create your career and what you want to do for probably 70% of your life tie a job around their passion and um, also they get to travel at the same time and see different parts of the world all right now I'm here and it's time to put in the work I'm um, going to spend a few hours, maybe two hours, reading over this and, and really, um, really studying it, really um, figuring out what I'm learning from this. Um, and then I'm going to go on to my web development. So I'll catch up with you in a bit. Um, it is coming up for quarter to ten in the morning. I'm just having some banana bread and um, I might change location at the lunchtime and then work on my web development this afternoon. Um, we'll see what happens. I've left the cafe, so I'm now sitting in one of the gardens. Um, just overlooking Victoria's Harbour I decided to share some key points that I learned in the first chapter with you so I've actually made some notes okay so one of the first things that I've learned just by reading the introduction section of this book is that uh, speaking directly to your customers and your audience and uh, through a bare bones like video blog um, and developing those relationships with the customers outside of um, that platform on Twitter and Facebook etc is actually inviting a one-on-one -on -one engagement with your audience which is amazing because um, I think if, if you want to have a loyal following if you want to have people who are really interested in what you do um, uh, and I think it's important that you develop that one-on-one -on -one relationship with them. Second thing was that we can, it, it kind of touches base on the idea that the internet is for everyone 
and that anyone can build a lucrative online business if they really put in the work and the effort. You know, we can always build a lucrative business around things that we're passionate about. You can actually use your personal brand, um, who is you, as in you are your own personal brand, to create that online business. Um, or uh, your personal brand can actually be the business. So essentially what I think he's meaning is that um, you and your face can actually be the personal brand and um, you can also do it in a way that what what you what you do or what you deliver or your product is your personal brand um, I think that's what it is I'm not a hundred percent I'm not a genius on personal branding that's why I'm uh, reading this book but I think that's potentially what it could be one interesting fact that I learned as well is that actual social media platforms they change every six to nine months that's how frequently social platforms evolve right now it is all right so it's uh, 45. All right, so I've left the cafe and I'm now just walking home. Um, it's four o'clock in the afternoon and um, yeah, so I've just spent about three or four, I can't remember when, what the time was when I did the last one. About three or four hours during the web development. The web development was good. I'm almost finished the second section of the course, um, uh, which the second section goes through CSS and then I'm about a couple of videos now away from my second big project of the course which is to redesign the BBC News website. Alright, so it's early morning and um, it's the day after where we left off and um, basically I spent until about 11 o'clock editing that video. Before you go, I've learned obviously a lot in the first chapter of Gary V's Crushing It book. What else? Yeah, subscribe to the channel if you've not subscribed already. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button so that you're notifi notified before, uh, sorry, you're notified when I upload a video. And then, uh, yeah, you can follow along in real time. And that's it. That'll be fan dabby dozy. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. There is no excuse for not trying. Where you are right now doesn't have to determine where you'll end up. No one's written your destiny for you. You write your own destiny. You make your own future. Dr. King once said, before we reach the majestic shores of the promised land, there is a frustrating and bewildering wilderness ahead. We must still face prodigious hilltops of opposition and gigantic mountains of resistance. But with patient and firm determination, we will press on. The future rewards those who press on. With patient and firm determination, I'm gonna press on. I don't have time to feel sorry for myself. I don't have time to complain. I'm gonna press on. Stop complaining. Stop crying. We are gonna press on. We've got work to do.